One way is through a site network. My organization is a network of sites located between South Carolina and Georgia. Through this clustering of sites, we've been able to facilitate inter-site cross-training, idea exchange, and process standardization. We've also taken this step a step further and established an international site network. All our sites between the United States and Eastern Europe share the same site operations procedures. And these are procedures that have been developed over many years through trial and error. Another major advantage of, doing, of having an international site network is we've had the unique opportunity to develop an international training program. Now let me describe a little bit about this program. Trainees from Europe come to the United States where they rotate around the site network practicing clinical trial coordination. They also become educated in international clinical research law, ethics, regulatory, pharmaceutical business practices, and efficient site management methods. Through this site network, trainees are engaged in proven ideas, ideas that have been tested over and over again through trial and error, and they get the chance to implement these high standards. Following their training, the coordinators return to their respective countries, where they get to see the over, they oversee the development of the company's European sites. Now would be a very good time to explain my organization's experience doing clinical research work in Eastern Europe. We've had several hurdles, um, and I'd like to explain our experience of how we're attempting to overcome them. So there are several challenges which hamper ethical, high-volume clinical research work in Eastern Europe from our experience. One major challenge is that clinical research sites within this region are isolated. This means there's a lack of inter-site connectivity and communication within this region. Sites compete against each other instead of sharing best practices, and this competition actually works to the detriment of these sites, since inefficiencies are not collectively rectified. Co coordinator training and support is also very limited to that of a single site as opposed to that of many sites. And this also raises an ethical issue. If isolated, if isolated sites exist among the, amongst the region, and inefficiencies exist with, amongst the sites, the same inefficiencies can exist throughout the region, and this is very difficult to justify, given that the same standard protocol exists, and all the sites are working as, on the same team to make sure that the study goes forward effectively, efficiently. Another major hurdle that we found within this region is this paradigm of volume versus ethics. In a PI-centric model of research, the region has raised an ethical dilemma. How can doctors properly focus on patient safety while laboring over the details of a study protocol and maintaining a private practice on the side? The greater the volume of patients, the more intensified this ethical dilemma becomes, since a doctor's attention is more diluted to more studies, more patients, physicians become overwhelmed, deviations are inevitable. This brings me to my next point, which is that of inefficient site management methods. This is a reality we've seen throughout the region. PIs who are overwhelmed have difficulty properly overseeing their research staff and avoiding study deviations. There's also improper attention given to patient recruitment, which is one of the primary tenets of a physician, which is to refer patients to study. This was especially a problem in Hungary. Since we cannot use advertisements in Hungary to attract patients, the PI is the primary person for patient recruitment. And since the PI has been distracted by the details of the study protocol, it's been very difficult to have a high volume of patients and to hit our goals in time. Medical knowledge is also limited to highly specialized medical personnel in both Hungary and Russia, and this limits access to trained and high quality coordinators. The conclusion we can draw from all three of these challenges I just mentioned is that doing ethical, high volume clinical research is very difficult, and a PI is overwhelmed unless they limit the number of studies and patients that they have. Now, let me explain how my organization has attempted to overcome these hurdles. One way is by utilization of the site network. Even after they leave the United States, our international coordinators 
maintain constant correspondence with their U.S. counterparts. And these are relationships they've established throughout their training program in the United States. The International Site Network continues to provide a high-quality foundation of experience and expertise. As a result, none of our sites in Eastern Europe start from zero. They start from many years of experience and support provided by the International Site Network of experienced American site managers and coordinators. Now, there's a very important point I'd like to mention here, which is, when I say the United States, I'm not saying that U.S. does it better than Europe or any other country. What I'm suggesting is we happen to have a cluster of high-quality sites within the United States, and through the connection of an international network, we're taking full advantage of these expertise. One major result of the international training program is that our trainees have the ability to adapt the best practices of their American counterparts and establish novel and unprecedented clinical research methods throughout Eastern Europe. These unprecedented methods include partnerships between private and public organizations. My organization is a private one, making partnerships with key individuals in the public sector, such as head physicians and pulmonologists with access to COPD databases. And this has the following result. The public, this public sector provides access to the patients, while the private one provides the capacity to handle a high patient study load. There's been several other benefits and positive impacts of our international site support network, especially within Hungary and Russia. For the first time in both of these countries, we've been able to place the clinical research coordinator in the center of research operations. This has not only increased the volume of studies and patients one principal investigator can handle, but also enhances the efficiency and quality of data collection, since these coordinators provide 100% of their attention to the study. Burden sharing also means less mistakes and more control, because they help one, they help one another. It's part of our training program. You oversee one another. The PI makes sure they overlook all the paperwork of the coordinators. The coordinators help each other out and it's been very effective in avoiding study deviations. Another major advantage of the International Site Network is we bring the American experience of clinical research to, to Eastern Europe. Our sites in Hungary and Russia provide amicable and comfortable environments for patients, and this is a very novel concept in both of these countries' medical systems. These comforts include comfortable couches, snacks, friendly office culture, and other similar amenities. The comforts have had the following results. It creates a destination for patients. Patients come just to spend time with friends they've made throughout the trial, and spend time in the comfortable, the comfortable couches and food, um, and just to spend time with us. Essentially, our goal is to make our sites more comfortable in the patient's own home. And ethically, this is the least we can do to express our appreciation for a patient's participation in a study. And this is especially true in a hungry where you cannot compensate patients for their participation. Another major advantage of the International Site Network, and another way it's been a benefit within Eastern Europe, is that it has provided a direct correspondence between US sponsors and our European site operations managers. This has the benefit of having contracts being negotiated directly, and this has the obvious benefit of saving both time and money for the sponsor and the study site. Finally, there's a certain level of quality assurance that comes from having an international training program and intersite support system. Sponsors know that we are being that we are on foundations of many years of experience, and they understand that the reputations of our American sites can very simply easily be superimposed onto our European ones. The purpose of the Clinical Research Magnifier Conference is for a growing international clinical research community to share our experiences and best practices. As Steve Jobs explained, creativity is just